Hey, hey everybody, Jason here, and I'm back with a quick video for you guys today. Today we're gonna to talk about 3D printing and RC cars. For a very long time, these low-end 3D printers, they could print pretty intricate structures, but we didn't really have a material that would allow us to print something that was truly durable enough, nothing useful enough to actually put it on an RC car. At least not if you wanted it to last for any reasonable amount of time. But one of my friends from Facebook sent me this, this design and asked me to print this out of a new material called Nylon X. It's nylon with, it's a carbon fiber reinforced nylon. It's pretty expensive. I think I paid about a hundred bucks for like maybe a pound of it. And I ended up trying to print this four or five different times. This is actually a front arm for a, uh, for a 10 scale tool drive buggy. I tried printing it four or five times and I did it with varying levels of support, varying layer thicknesses, different types of surfaces, just straight PEI, PEI with glue stick, some blue tape. And for whatever reason, I just kept having some issues. It really wasn't a material thing. I mean, this is a part that was designed really well, but it just wasn't designed for FEM, fused deposition modeling. But the point is this, the point is, I wanna show you guys something. It's got some deflection, well, watch this. You're not gonna break it. it. It bends and it deflects, but it's not gonna break. And while this particular material might not be as rigid as we would want, to design, say, A-arms or C-hubs or something like that. We could always put a carbon fiber plate on it like some of the other manufacturers have done. We could always design it a little bit thicker or create the, you know, alter the design with some ribbing or some ridges to kind of reinforce, you know, its ability to kind of avoid deflection. But the point is, the time has come when I think we're gonna to start to see more and more tinkerers, more and more do-it-yourselfers at home with 3D printers and a little bit of extra spare time on their hands start to develop parts for cars. And it's materials just like this Nylon X from Matter Hackers that's gonna make it happen. I also bought some Polycarbonate X, which is a super strong polycarbonate that's reinforced. And it's considerably more rigid, but I haven't had a chance to try it out. So right now we're in the process of printing a few different items for RC cars out of this Nylon X just to kind of see how durable it is. And I can tell you, I don't wanna give away too much because we got some stuff in the works, but I can tell you from experience, it's far more durable than we expected. So anyways, I just thought I would share this little, this little tip with you guys. Some Nylon X from Matter Hackers for all you 3D printers out there. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.